If you want to increase storage space on your Synology NAS, you have to watch this video. So we have a question here, um, and the situation is as follows. He has DS920 Plus, VSAR 4, 4 terabyte drives, and he has run out of storage space. So he has two options right now, either getting another NAS, and getting uh, and putting new drives, eight terabyte drives in there, and he's going to be getting um, three um, three drive storage space. So it's eight plus eight plus eight it would be twenty four terabytes of uh, storage space. Um, this way, or he's adding an expansion unit and and getting extra storage space this way without having a second NAS, but by connecting expansion unit to a DS nine twenty plus, or the other route he, he's more willing to take is um, replacing um, those four terabyte drives with eight terabyte drives. But he wants to start with um, replacing two drives at the first at the beginning, so you will have two four terabyte drives and two eight terabyte drives, and then later on, uh, as, as you know, situation involves you need more storage space. He will be adding. Uh, replacing those remaining uh, four terabyte drives with eight terabyte drives, but then um, the the worry he got here is that um, the drives he got now is five thousand nine hundred RPM drives, which are slower drives. But when when you're looking at eight terabyte drives, they don't really do anymore um, that sort of speed in those drives. So they they would come with seven thousand two hundred um, RPM, um, and the question is. Can you mix different RPM drives? And the answer is yes, <laughs> you can mix because you don't need to worry about them not working properly. Because um, I've been I've been seeing people mixing not only uh, different RPM drives, there's different kind of drives like NAS drives and 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 desktop drives with Barracuda and, and things like that and like slower and faster drives and. I've been seeing combinations like crazy uh, being mixed in Snowdge, but Snowdge is having this beautiful um, RAID SHR system that is just going to allow you to mix all this together. Yeah, the, the only downfall by doing this is that um, your RAID, your system will work as fast as the slowest link in your chain. In this case, that will be 5,900 RPM drives, or if you put some crazy laptop drives, then even, even slower. This is not something I would recommend myself. I would always recommend to use exactly the same type of drives in the RAID, but I understand the situation that you want to gain some more storage space and this these are the cards you have dealt with. And so you need to play with this, it's a dissertation. So yes, you can, you can add these drives um, and it will work. And, and eventually when you replace those remaining different drives, then you will end up anyway having uh, um, all drives being the same kind um, so yeah, performance, if you're worried about performance, also at the back of your Synology NAS 920, you got one gigabit uh, <laughs> LAN port. So again, you're already having this bottleneck there, one, one gigabit uh, per second. So there's, there's nothing to worry about. If you had um, top specs of solution, which is 10 gigabit and uh, RAID 10 or something where you are actually uh, squeezing the most performance out of this NAS that you could potentially and then you start introducing some slower drives this is the point where you would actually uh, see the slowdown and disadvantage so let's talk more about um, how will it look like so at the moment you got four uh, four terabyte drives so you're getting around 12 terabytes give or take less than that probably around 10 but this is what's going to happen if you add um, two eight terabyte drives so from 12 terabytes, you're going to go up to 16 terabytes. You'll be get, gaining only four terabyte of storage space. But the other option, if you would go for a um, another NAS, or if you would go for an expansion unit, and you would add two eight terabyte drives, let's say you got expansion unit, then look what happens now. You got 24 terabytes of uh, data so you gain instead of four terabytes by replacing those two four terabyte drives now you gain eight terabytes of data you still you're still losing one one drive uh, theoretically 
because this is what you were worried about. If you would um, buy expansion unit, you would you lose one try. But if you replace your two four terabyte drives, you're not gaining much. You're just gaining four terabyte of storage space by adding two eight terabyte drives. So this is something something you should consider if if you would add expansion units, you would actually get more storage space. The other option would be getting a bigger NAS. Let's let's say. 1520 plus or um, or even bigger and then you, you move those drives into those bays so you get um, if you get 16 21 plus for example then then you also get this extra storage space to play with you, you can get add more add more drives and, and, and gain space this way but but this is this is this is the situation so if if you will replace those two drives you'll gain four terabyte of space if you get expansion and add eight ter two 8 terabyte drives, you'll get extra 8 terabyte drives. Let's say if you get expansion unit and add uh, 4 8 terabyte drives, this is what happens. Look, <laughs> in total you will have 40 terabytes of storage space by having expansion unit. And expansion unit is not that expensive anyway. So this this is the thing, and um, if you also what you wanted to probably talk about is um, SMR drives. Uh, this this is again something you shouldn't be mixing like uh, regular CMR type of drives and SMR type of drives, because they are kind of different drives. They will again they will work, but uh, you will notice the issue really when um, when one of the drives fail and you need to rebuild the system. It's gonna take like significantly more time to, to recover, to, to rebuild the RAID with a mixture of two different kind of drives. So this is something to bear in mind that yeah, you just, just stick with uh, um, CMR drives. If you don't know which ones are those, um, um, just um, look for plus drives, WD RAID plus. This, is what, this will mean that these are CMR drives. Um, and, and, and this is it, yeah, exactly. Um, I hope I answered your question here. If you've got it, uh, any other uh, questions, you can always come to NASCAM Bears. There's a um, uh, question uh, box you can you can fill it, fill in, put your question in there, submit it, or go to Ask NASCAM Bears if you want. Uh, the forum uh, question sort of the, uh, system where you can leave your question there. You can leave your question down in comments of this video and um, or just shoot an email to info at nascompares.com and uh, if your question is going to be interesting or and, and some other people could benefit from this we're going to make a shoot, uh, future video so others can help others can gain from this okay <laughs> and uh, we can help together thank you um, cheerio